Now, the National Population Council has called for more advocacy and education on, on adolescent sexual and reproductive health in the country. She made the observation at the third Adolescent Reproductive Health Summit here in Accra. Sexual and reproductive health issues have direct links to all the 17 goals of the SDGs and when addressed properly could lead to the achievement of the quality of life for all Ghanaians by the year 2030. Inadequate sustainable financing, low awareness, poor access to available services such as family planning, stigmatization and the negative attitudes especially towards adolescent sexual reproductive health rights and needs have contributed to the unfortunate trend of teenage pregnancies. The summit is intended to secure collaborative efforts on the implementation of policies and build consensus. Adolescents sit in very critical in any national development because they sit between the old and the new generation. The adolescent of today is going to see us off in pension. They are going to exit us and then they are ushering in the new generation. So that is why we bring into the fore that if we want to develop equitably, efficiently and, and quickly, then it is important that we look at a life course approach. The Member of Parliament for War Central, Dr. Rashid Pelpo, noted legislative processes were ongoing to keep teenage pregnancy. From Parliament, we can assure you we have formed a caucus and we have established a championship that is going to work towards this outcome because we know that members of parliament need the people every day to glean out something out of here so that in our determination to make policy reflect our expectations we have something to talk about. 